to look at the strategy. Uh, it's a division strategy. It's partial quotients. Uh, today we're going to look at partial quotients involving decimals. Uh, students have used partial quotients uh, maybe as early as third grade, for sure fourth grade, and in fifth grade with whole numbers. And so today we're going to apply that strategy that they've used with whole numbers to decimals. Our problem is 29 and 6 tenths as our dividend. We're going to divide that by the divisor 8 tenths. And the really good thing about using this strategy is students use what they know. So we think about facts that we know when multiplying to um, help us with this problem. We know our divisor is 8 tenths, so we're going to be thinking about groups of 8 tenths, because how many 8 tenths can we find in 29 and 6 tenths? So I know that one group of 8 tenths is 8 tenths. And I also know that 10 groups of 8 tenths would be 8. So these are facts that we know are easy facts that we know. So two groups of 8 tenths, think about that as doubling, doubling 8 tenths, and that would be 1 and 6 tenths. And then I can use the multiples of 10, which are easy. 20 groups of 8 tenths, I can think of if I double, I know that 10 groups of 8 tenths was 8, if I double that, then I know 20 groups of 8 tenths is 16. And then 5 is also a nice number, a nice fact, factor to use. So 5 groups of 8 tenths, I know that I can think about it as being half. I know 10 times 8 tenths was 8, so 5 times 8 tenths would be half of that. So that's 4. So this is where we use our thinking and our reasoning and our basic facts to get our cluster problem, they're called sometimes, or our think bubble of problems. So now we're ready to start dividing. We have our, our help here with our list of problems. And this is why it's partial questions. We're certainly, we're looking at 29 and 6 tenths as the, our dividend, the whole that we have. We're, we're going to um, use our fact and subtract out um, in easy chunks. So now let's look at our list. We see that 20 groups of 8 tenths is equal to 16. And that will get us pretty close. So let's go ahead and put this out here. 20 groups of 8 tenths. And we did that with 16. So we're using 16 out of our 29 and 6 tenths. And we have left over 13 and 6 tenths. So now I'm going to look at our facts again that we have and see which one will help us continue to find groups of 8 tenths. I might see that 10 groups of 8 tenths is 8. That will help them. 10 groups of 8 tenths is 8. So now I can take 8 more groups out and I'm left with 5 and 6 tenths still. So we refer back to our list and I see that 5 groups of 8 tenths is 4. So that's the one we're going to use next. 5 groups of 8 tenths I know that is 4. I subtract that and left with 1 and 6 tenths. And I see that on our list of that 2 groups of 8 tenths is 1 and 6 tenths. Now we have used all of our dividends. We have used all of our 29 and 6 tenths. And now we need to answer the question, how many groups of 8 tenths are we able to find in our 29 and 6 tenths? We use 20, and then we use 10, which is 30, and then we use five more groups, and then two more, which is 37. So we combined all that we used, all the groups of 8 tenths we used for a total of 37. Another way to write that is 29 and 6 tenths divided by 8 tenths is equal to 37. That would be 37 groups of 8 tenths.